Hello everyone. Today we will learn about FRET quality score or Q score. During sequencing, sequencing machines make mistake to identify the correct bases. Therefore, error probabilities are assigned to the nucleated bases that have been sequenced. Let's take a look into a FASTQ file. FASTQ file contains the DNA sequence as well as the error probability score that is quality score. For each of the nucleotide bases, there is a single letter quality score. These are the ASCII character which represents the quality of the base call. How these ASCII characters are linked to the quality scores, let's take a look. The FRED quality score or Q score is logarithmically related to the error probabilities of base call. That means if FRED quality score is 10, the probability of incorrect base call is 1 in 10. If FRED quality score is 20, the probability of error is 1 out of 100. For score 30, probability is 1 in 1000 and so on and so forth. We can also see that with the increase of quality score, the base call accuracy increases. That means higher FRED quality score is better. The FRED quality scores are always integers. Those integers are represented using the ASCII encoding in the first Q file. I am showing an example of a table to show how the quality scores are related to these ASCII characters. There are 40 quality scores from 0 to 40. Those are linked to a specific ASCII characters. For example, if the quality score of a base is 3, that will be represented using the dollar sign in the first Q file. So, based on the ASCII symbol in the first Q file, we can convert it into FRED quality score or we can also calculate the probability of incorrect base call. The Q score encoding in a first Q file is not universal. There are several variants of the encoding method as well as the Q score ranges. The encoding and the ranges differ between the sequencing platform. Also, it could differ within the sequencing platform. We can see different types of encoding used in Sanger, Solexa, Illumina, Nanopore, and PacBio. Most commonly used encoding is the FRED 33. Also, the ranges of the quality score varies greatly between the sequencing platform. Even within Illumina, there are three different ranges that are used in different versions. To summarize, the definition of error, the encoding method, as well as the range of Q-score could be different depending on the sequencing platform. We need to know all the details before we analyze the raw sequencing data. Q-score is very useful to determine the quality of a sequencing library. Here I am showing an example. In the x-axis, this is the Q-score and the y-axis represents the density of bases. I draw a line at the Q30, Q-score 30. So this plot is telling us most of the bases in these libraries have Q-score value above Q30. Let's take a look of the similar library in a different sample. When we draw a line at Q30, we can see almost half of the bases have quality score below Q30. This is telling us this library is not a good quality library because it has half of the bases that is below Q30, whereas on the left side, majority of the bases have quality score above Q30, where most density is found as the Q40. So this is how we can assess the quality of libraries using Q-score. After that, we may want to trim the low quality bases from the DNA sequences. For that, we can use multiple tools, for example, uh, for quality trimming, we can use cut adapt or trimomatic. After quality trimming, we can visualize the data using fast QC. Secret is uh, very useful if we want to convert the encoding between different uh, platform or different versions. 
Thank you for watching this video. Please check out my website to find other courses on genomics and bioinformatics.